In this video, we're playing Hunter Call of the Wild as if we were a cowboy. Because you know what? We are a cowboy. Because we want to be. And because that's how the world works now. Now we're going to be starting off our hunt right here in Mexico because that's just the most cowboy place I could think of on the game. And let's go ahead into the loadout and make sure we get the right guns. So we all know cowboys are awesome. They use lever actions. They use revolvers. And I think that's probably about it that I remember. I'm not exactly a cowboy finishado. But we'll try our best. Going straight down the list, we have the 4570. Now, this is actually a really mean gun, and we're most definitely going to be packing it. This is one of my favorite guns in the game. It's a 44 Magnum lever action. It can kill pretty much everything, but it's a stinking hoss cat. Okay, this is the 3030 lever action. I don't like it. We're not using it. Then the 44 Magnum, that's a mean little gun right there. And honestly, these three guns, I mean, they should put me through most of the animals in the game. I'm going to load up one really old scope, and we're just going to go from there. Here's the 4570. Got that old scope on it. It's still a scope. It'll still work. Oh, snap, dude. We got a turkey. It's literally turkey season like right around. 150 yards away. Dude, this ain't gonna be easy though. Oh, there's some pronghorn. There's some pronghorn. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be kind of a long shot for stinking iron sights. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't even know what I shot. Oh, turkey. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. We, we got six. We got six in the mag, so we got, we got three left. If I can shoot that turkey right here, then I win. Okay, simple as that. He's got to be real close, though. He's probably about to fly. I don't see him, though. Dang, dude. Go ahead and reload, I guess. That stinking turkey just got away. But I believe it landed right there and ran up the hill. I think I'm going to try to do a lot of this challenge iron sights because if you're a cowboy back in the day, you got to think about it, man. Scopes are awesome to have. However, if we're going to be honest, guys, that's one more thing that can break. And if you can get your job done with iron sights, it's going to be a whole lot more reliable. So unless we need that scope, we're not going to use it. Now, we do have a pronghorn up here, and I think we got blood right here. This is pretty good. Uh, it's a non-vital organ hit. We're going to track this on ourselves. Usually we would let Jamal do it. We're going to reserve Jamal just in case we need him. This 44 Magnum, though, I mean, that's it's a real gun, dude. It can, it can do some damage. Let's see, I think we're going to be running right on top of these guys. Dude, if I... Oh, and they're mating call. Maybe they didn't hear me. Oh, yeah. I bet they're right down there. Let's get down and see if we can sneak up a little bit closer. Right down there in the valley somewhere. Let's see, my little pronghorn. It's piled up right there, ain't it? It is. So now, those other pronghorns should be somewhere down here in this valley. There's one way out there. They're the ones that's nervous. I'm looking for the herd that was just doing that mating call. If they're doing a mating call, they don't know you're there. And we've got whitetails moving in. All right, this is going to be pretty perfect, actually. We got those whitetails moving into us. I'm going to sneak over here, claim that pronghorn, and then try to figure out where exactly those deer are coming. Try to take a good shot on one. They're coming in really close, actually. By golly, if we can get them to come in real close, we may take one with the pistol. I would like to definitely get a kill with all these weapons. Right now, looks like so far we just got one with the 44 Magnum. But before the video's over, I'm definitely taking one out with all of them. A little far back, but even then, he didn't go far. Let's see, I've lost him. Not a good thing. Oh, that deer right there? Did I just see a deer? There was a deer close. Dude, if it comes right up on me, I gotta shoot it. Self-defense. All right, well, we just let that go. Jamal, get out of the way! You're gonna get killed. I think that if we sit tight, we're gonna see a buck here in a second. That's the buck right there. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gotta reload. Gotta reload. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. I can't. You know what I seen? I seen a comment the other day that said, you know, Kennel kind of aggravates me whenever he misses on purpose. Do you think I'm trying to miss on purpose? I just, I'm just, first of all, I've never tried to miss in this game. I'm just not good at it. I mean, I wish I was better, but I just need to get better on the sticks. Oh, oh. Jamal, dude, you back, up, you back up busted, I'll be honest. I don't think I killed that deer. No, I definitely didn't kill the deer. I hit him, not enough to kill him, though. Roll the replay, though. That first shot, you gotta admit, if I hadn't hit the ground, he would have been dead. I mean, that was a good shot. It just so happened he was there was, like, you know, dirt in front of him, so it's kind of hard to do anything there. Long story short, boys, I think it's in our best interest. Cowboy gotta leave that one behind, you know. This ain't Texas, so we're just gonna leave, and we're gonna go somewhere else. We are leaving from North Mexico, and we're going to South Mexico. 
Actually, I'm gonna be honest, dudes. I know I've wore this place out, but I'm going to my honey hole in the mountains. I think I have a pretty good chance of killing some stuff here because there's always stuff here. This is the first video I've made in like a month and it shows. Gotta get back on the sticks, man. I should I should honestly kind of be ashamed. It is eight o'clock, so I mean, it's prime time. They should be stuff at this pond. What I'm starting to realize though, as much as at the beginning of the video, I said, that this gun was by far my favorite. I'm starting to realize how bad it actually is with iron sights. Like if there was a deer down there, it would take up most of the deer. It's kind of hard to aim with this thing. Low key though, if it gets bad enough, I will put a scope on that thing. I don't plan on it, but I'm not above it. All right guys, I just heard a noise. It was a big horn sheep mating call. It's right over this hill. We should be seeing it any moment now. And if all goes well, I might actually pull out the 4570 just to make sure that we kill it. Cause, well that last deer we shot and we didn't kill it, I think a scope would have changed that. I mean, scopes are really important. Yeah, the Cowboys didn't have them, but the Cowboys lost the Alamo. Maybe they needed scopes. Oh, there, there he is. That is a girl. Oh, too bad, it's getting shot. Taking it down. 4570, it's gotta be dying soon. All right, that's what I thought. You don't walk away from that. Nothing does. Not even a buffalo, which we're going to test it on in this video. Ah, uh, yeah, we shot it, shot it right here. It ran right here, and it died. Pretty good, and we're leaving. We're getting out, we're leaving the whole map too. I'm talking like we're leaving Mexico, and the Cowboys are now going to Silver Ridge Peaks. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the Rocky Mountains. We are shifting away from Mexico cowboyism a little bit, and we're shifting over to like the Buffalo cowboyism, if that's even a word, but now it is because I made it up. Oh, something just spotted me. It's a deer. Oh, it didn't spot me though. Well, that's so far away. Let me see if I can get in one of these bushes. Let me see if I can get in this tree and call him in. I got my deer call. There's a good chance I could call him in. If I do get lucky enough to call him in, I definitely think it's only right if we take him out with a pistol. Let me look up the binoculars, see how he's acting. Yeah, old boy's definitely interested. We're gonna see if we can, oh, that's a bear. Oh, now that would be cool to call in too, wouldn't it? How about this, whoever comes first gets, gets the bullet, <laughs> like a contest. Just by looking at it, I think it's probably gonna be the deer. Oh yeah, dude, the, deer's, the deer is going down right here in a minute. The deer is going down. He's coming in like a sucker. He don't even know what he's coming to. He stopped. However, I don't think he really knows what he's doing. And right over here, I believe we got some bison. But I just heard one make, yep, there comes a bison rolling up. Hurry up and do, we'll see if we can do a speed run. Call in this deer, boom, call in the deer, pop him, swing out, boom, take out a buffalo, just like that. Talking about putting them into the extinct list. We're gonna have to act fast though, because once the bison hears the gunshot, I don't think it's gonna keep walking. I think it's probably gonna run away, so we can't waste much time. Wait, is there two deer? Oh, I'm bringing in two deer. I didn't even notice that. 50 yards away. Can I make this happen? This could happen pretty perfectly. They're coming into the same frame right here. How slick can I make this? Can I go boom, switch over and boom? Oh, something sees me. All right, it's game time, I know that. Goodbye. Then switch to the 4570 and take it out. Let's go. Another shot, make sure it's down. Put another one in the far one. That one should be going down. Oh, reload, 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 reload. Uh oh, I think we got one going aggressive. Now it's fleeing. Didn't know if it should be aggressive or not. That one should be going down. We'll sling a bullet real far. Oh, come on. Reload, reload, reload. I wanna take that shot, take that shot. Oh, just good enough to hit him. Now, did that kill him? I don't know if that's a good enough shot to kill him or not, but I think we shot at least three bison. We're really gonna hope that they were vital hits, but what we need to do right now is just look around and see what we did to the deer. What in the world? The deer was right on top of us and we didn't hit him good enough to kill him. I mean, I'm sure he's gonna die, but not really. That's not what we're looking for. It's something about the cowboy guns that I've never had much luck with Literally ever. Like I try to use these every now and again. Never am I able to kill stuff with them. And I think I'm I think I'm realizing why. So whenever you look down the site, whenever you look very closely at the site, you have the top of the post and then you have the dot in the middle of the post. Am I supposed to put the middle of the dot where I want the bullet to go or the top of the post where I want the bullet to go? Apparently it matters because I don't think I killed that deer. Long story short though, looks like we're gonna have to just abandon the deer 
And now we're going out there to see those buffalo. And I'm pretty sure I see one right here, which is good. We got a couple blood splatters right here. That one's definitely good enough to kill it. The 4570 is most definitely big enough to take down. Yeah, right here is one actually. It, but it's definitely big enough to take down a buffalo in one shot as long as that one shot is in the right spot you know what i mean so this one right here looks like i shot him on the run with a perfect liver shot and then another shot shot him in the liver i guess just for fun i guess i don't remember but i'm sure we got at least one more down because we had a pretty good blood spot and because we actually see him right there that's probably a good indicator let me check out there and see if I can see any of that herd that's injured. That one's injured. All right, so we see the one that's injured. That's the one we're going for. We don't want to leave a bunch of animals half injured. And look at here. We got some pronghorn. We're not after them. Somehow they barely even know I'm here. Let's go ahead collect this guy. Let's see. Let's watch these pronghorn flee real quick. They're, they should be running any second. They should be running right now, actually. We're really close to them. All right, there they go. Now they're barely starting to split up. There they go. But yeah, let's hurry up and track down this other buffalo and take him out. We should be able to find the one that was injured pretty easily. And then if we send one more very accurate 4570 into the lungs, should be going straight down. Should not take him out at all. All right, we're really close. And here she is. She actually waited on me, which is very nice. Let's see if we can walk up to her. So she's not dying. She's about to go aggressive. We're just going to wait and let her make the first move. Right now, we're both walking towards each other, but no one's doing anything. I could probably end her right here, honestly, but I think I'm going to switch to the 4570. So now I'm going, I'm iron sight 4570, and I'm going to wait and see if I can get a better shot at the lungs. Yeah, I think this is actually really easy. Goodbye. All right, she's dead. Why is her health not going down? That was a pretty good shot. Hip shot. Dude, I missed. Did I miss that? Kill me, dude. If I can't shoot you that far away, there's something wrong. Roll the replay. How did both of those... How did both of those hit fires miss? I mean, yeah, it's a hit fire, but they was right on top of me. That first shot was a flesh hit, and that second shot was most definitely the one that ended her. Only a single lung, because 4570 doesn't penetrate that well. Long short, short, it's fine. So far, we've been to Mexico. We've been out west. Where else did the cowboys go? Hmm, that's actually a good question. I don't know. Mississippi? Maybe New England? Pacific Northwest? Let's pull out Cowboy Expert Google and see what it says. Where did cowboys live at? Out in the open. Oh, okay. What is this? Is it the red? That's Giants versus Cowboys. That's football. Maybe I'm starting to realize that like a cowboy isn't like an animal. They're like a human that kind of just goes wherever they want to. So maybe cowboys aren't like restricted to a specific area. How about we do this? Wherever the cows are, that's where the cowboys are. Looks like we got a lot of cows in Texas. Oh, this might help us. I'm pretty sure that gives us our answer. We're definitely going to New England. And let's not forget, we've not actually killed anything with the pistol. We probably injured one and scared one to death, and he probably died from, like, a disease or something. I wouldn't actually count that as a kill. I want a clean kill with the pistol. And with the amount of deer, bear, and even moose in New England, I'd say there's a pretty good chance to get on some. And if we keep our heads up and we go to key locations, like right out here in front of us, 250 yards away... I have a moose spawning ground. If we sneak up there, they should be there right now. So I don't think I'm actually supposed to shoot a moose with that pistol. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot it twice. Hope for the best. All right. There we got a moose mating call. That's pretty solid. There he is right there. It's a girl, but there's always a boy. Oh, and they are coming right in for landing, dude. This could not be easier. I'm going to sneak up on this guy so bad. He is not going to know what to do. Oh, he's facing me, though. Okay, that could probably be better, but I still think we can get pretty close without them knowing we're here. There we got another cow moose, but we are much more interested in this moose. Right now, we're about 136 yards away. The moose is looking my direction. We could definitely smoke him pretty easily, honestly, with the lever action 4570, but we wanna, I want to get in close. Actually, I think I can shoot a moose with this thing. It says this goes up to level 8, which is super high. I think we're actually totally fine. This 44 Magnum cartridge is actually really good. The range is a little restricted, though. That might be something to think about. I don't think these bullets are really going to get too long. Oh, he's already attentive. We're 80 yards away. I guess that's normal. It's a dude walking up to it with a gun. Here's the problem, though. When I aim, that moose is small. Oh, do we take the shot already? 
or do we try to get a low wait a second till he goes normal i think this time i'm gonna aim with the top of the post opposed to the center of the dot he's calm right now i'm gonna pull up binoculars make sure i got a really good clean line of sight see right now there's still some trees right there and i definitely don't want to hit them could aim straight through there i mean oh he's standing up take the shot take it or leave it shoot him again Shoot him till it won't let you no more. I think I'm out. Reload. Dude, I don't know how that went. I don't think I really killed him. I don't feel like I did. This pistol's supposed to be able to kill him, but for whatever reason, I don't. I didn't feel good about that. The way that he stood up and ran, I don't feel good about that one. This is the last gun that I need to kill something with. And look how little blood. Oh, how little. That's not good at all. How is this pistol that bad? Okay, well, we got a mallard duck. How would y'all feel if we shot a mallard duck with a 44 Magnum pistol? Y'all be down with that? It's probably what I'm gonna do. Cause I don't think that moose is going down anytime soon. And I tell you that, oh wait, never mind, never mind. Okay, they may not be as far as I thought. That's definitely a moose right there. 115 yards away. There's the male. What in the world? Is that bull moose coming back or going away? It's getting closer. What a dumb moose. <laughs> 50 yards, what in the world? Am I missing something here? This is gonna be close. Oh my gosh, please don't run through here. Please don't run. One of these has eventually gotta hit the heart, right? <gasps> ah! Something just bit me! I think it's a cow. I think it was the cow. The cow just bit me. Eat that one then, you cow. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. They're hunting me down now. They're hunting me down. Update, it says 44 Magnums, good enough for moose. It ain't. I've shot that thing at least 14 times and I've got one bullet left. So here, take this one too. All right, now I gotta switch to the 4570 just to get some bullets. Now, I'll tell you this right now, the 4570 ain't here to mess around. If you wanna get shot by the 4570, you can face death. You're gonna die. Look how many tiny, tiny blood spots are here and apparently none of those are vital organ hits. I got five shots off right here. Six. Look at all these blood spots. But they still ran so far. Does that even count for killing him with the pistol? I don't even know if I killed him, really. Here's one of them. I'm gonna keep my gun up, make sure it, it's, it, he's actually dead. I'm curious to see where I hit these things. I don't even think I killed that cow. I really don't. Are we serious right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine shots? Let's see where these lined up at. I knew that was a good shot. I knew that was a good shot, but it just didn't go through enough. That was another good shot. It didn't even hit the bone. It just didn't. I knew that was a heart shot too. I, that would have been another heart shot. That would have been another heart shot. I knew I wasn't far off. That would have been another lung. Then finally, when I put it in the rifle, keep in mind, same bullet, this one with the rifle, it penetrated enough to kill it in the lung. And then it penetrated enough to hit it in the butt. And then this one was just a Hail Mary and it hit it in the back. Even though the bullets are the same, they acted very different depending on what gun I shot them out of. I think we're learning something here. In real life, that's very true. The longer barrel makes the bullet go a lot faster. But I didn't know the game made that happen too. In that case, I really don't think that cow moose ever died because it probably didn't even make it past the skin. However, I will say this. That was a really cool cowboy shootout and probably the best we could ever get. Click it over here if you want to see me hunt like George Washington or right over here if you want to see me hunt like George Washington in real life.